Oh yeah, no, I'm just excited, really excited. It was I, good. What, what is it like to be back here for this? Um, the memories, the just, it's words really don't explain just the feeling it feels to be back in, in Milwaukee. You know, all the love that I'm getting from the fans, all the love I'm getting from you guys. It's just, everything is it's, it's amazing and I'm very thankful just to be back and just be in this position. How often do you think about that moment? All the time. Now that I have uh, a chance to let it like settle down in December and now I understand like what it really meant is still to this magnitude. It really hasn't hit me all the way, but there's so certain things where, you know, I'll catch myself going back to, you know, 2011 when, you know, I made it happen. So much happened like in those whatever two minutes five yeah. minutes what do you like what's the one thing that you always remember about? um the more is just the hit going up the field and the roar of the crowd the roar of the crowd basically told me everything and now and from hearing it i still hear it to this day in my sleep and when i'm just thinking about it just just that moment was just it was an amazing awesome experience I saw the replay again last night. Yeah. So Putes is on the mound. Yeah. He tickled it as you like. Oh to yeah, say. right up the box. Did, did you think there was any chance that Putes is gonna kick that one? He came. Well, close. no, I'm not. I kind of got I squared it up. I barreled it. You know, yeah. that's the best. You know, it came. You know, with the velocity now. <laughs> you know, nobody had the velocity back then, so I, I, I get it about a 107 off the bat. 107. Yeah, right. yeah. The velocity was there, so you know, I don't think he could have kicked save with a beauty. <laughs> <laughs> Nigel, well, you played for a lot of franchises in yeah. your career. I, I would assume that this one is the most This feels home. Yeah. yeah, this really feels home. I feel like I came up in this organization, even though I came up with the Pirates. Yeah. But besides that, this is, to me, this is home. And, you know, even though I have my only, like, year and a half, two years here, but besides that, I've made a an, an, uh, lasting impression on everybody, and, and everybody's made a lasting impression on me, and that means everything in the world just to be in this position and then be loved by so many different people. Yeah. Yeah. You got to know Tony Plush on That's the baseball right. field. Yeah. You know, Tony Gumbel on yeah. Tony Gamble. Don't forget about the weather, man. Yeah, Tony yeah, 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 yeah. Tombstone. And now you're in I'm Rich. T Business, man, now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I own a couple Airbnbs and I'm doing my thing to, uh, on the platform and, you know, I'm just, uh, you know, I'm a businessman now. So, you know, I keep the business and the approach uh, definitely like I, like I played my ball. I know you saw, you talked to Jim Henderson a little bit yeah. here. Are there other, other teammates from the Brewers that you still keep in contact um, with? Yeah, I talked to uh, Prince, um, you know, a few weeks or a few months ago. Talked to Ricky when I was at the yep. game in Miami. Yep. I saw him there, and I know he's working with the organization. But, you know, just being able to see those guys and, you know, they get excited and hearing these, you know, the men's voices now and everybody's grown and everybody's living their life, you know, it's, it's, it's a beautiful thing and still yeah. being able to have contact with them. Yeah. What's it mean to be back here throwing out the first pitch tonight? Yeah, it's everything, you know. After last night with the loss, you know, now that I can bring my energy and bring what I'm going to bring, you see I'm sweating, you know, I'm, uh, you know, I got that good energy. So, you know, very excited and just, you know, hopefully I can feel it from the crowd and they feel it and the guys, they can feel it. And, you know, we get that W tonight. Now, do you see any similarities between this team and your 2011 squad? Oh, most definitely. You know, we gr they grounded it, uh, grinded it out. And, you know, um, just being able to just the, with that trade by getting uh, Santana in uh, to trade too, huge, huge moment, a uh, momentum swing for them. So, you know, everything that they did, they have the uh, nucleus of the, of the veterans with the mixture of the uh, middle guys. And they have some young guys that they allow to get their feet wet too. So with that nucleus, you know, that could work. And, and it seems like Uncle Craig is making it work. And, you know, he's doing a wonderful job at the helm. What would you tell these guys entering this game? Because obviously, it's win or go home for them. They got to win. I mean, you know, it's basically you got to win. Um, you know, don't put too much pressure on yourself. Do what you do. You know, stay within yourself. Stay within the moment and take care of what you can. And everything's going to fall in place. You know, you got this wonderful crowd right behind you. You know, everything's going to be rocking. So, you know, you just got to let it go and just you know, play your best. No, I'm not trying to put any pressure on you, but I think there's the, no pressure on plus. The last time that you were here yeah. and throughout the first pitch, I want to yeah, say it was we won. 18 in the postseason. We won. By Colorado. A single. Yeah. Do you think you'll be able to bring that energy? Most tonight? definitely. That's why I'm here. You know, I'm here to make it happen. I'm here to make things, you know, plus some bendles is here. We're going to bring our, our energy, our whatever we know and just make it happen and we're gonna get this W and I'm coming, you're hearing it from me and I'm gonna make sure that we do this. Well, if they get the W today, that means you gotta come back tomorrow, right? You already know it. <laughs> <laughs> is there a player on the 2023 Brewers that- I love, I love Sal. 
I love guy. Sal Frillick. Yeah, I'm a huge fan of Sal Frillick. I just saw him, got a chance to meet him for the first time. So I definitely told Sal, you're my man, Sal. And uh, I love the way you play. I love your energy. And I just love the heart that you bring to this, uh, this organization.